What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. We are here with week three of the UPA. We're going against a homie, a bro, a bud, uh, Scythe, not Scythe, Talon now. My bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Talon, coach of the Atlanta Braviary. So it's a showdown in Atlanta, but you know, we are from Atlanta, so we live in Atlanta. You can't take the OAS City from us. He's on a roll right now in UPA, actually. 2 0. We are 1 1. We're, we're not going to let him stop our uh, comeback streak, so hopefully we can go ahead and just. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to end the streak right here. Um, I do feel like low key he has the uh matchup advantage. He brings a Lola Slam Slash, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. no Kiram, which is kind of you love to see that. That's actually good. That was Kiram was actually the scariest thing. Uh, no Kiram, instead, he brings no, and no Salazzle, so no Salazzle. Instead, he brings uh, where are you at, Sand Slash, which is right there, perfect, and then hit him on top, which is right here boom so i assume him on top is his way of removal um obviously he's gonna make sand slash kind of a breaker i assume um but but because he didn't bring the kiram uh Arachnid, it kind of frees up a a little bit um i kind of just want to lead jv because we're gonna lead us why not we are the fastest thing on the field um even if he is scarf lando it's fine we can just lead it um if he wants to lead uh nine tails it's also fine uh but i think we're just good to go and lead Victini, I think I, I think that's the best thing right there If he he could lead slow bro also in, in anticipation and then we u-turn he teleports which would also be a thing it would actually be a thing, but hey, I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do I don't know what he's gonna do. He brought an interesting squad for sure. I, I didn't expect him to bring hitm on top, but I mean we're fine We have Victini and we have Lele for it so we'll see what happens. I hope Lan is working right now. We have a black screen. All right, we're fine. Hopefully he just gives us, he has the fit, the new fit. So he does have lead Landorus, which is fine. Um, I want to so bad. I want to so bad click Glaciate, but because I don't know, it's like if he's no HP and just a straight attacker, we have a 56.3% chance to Oko with Glaciate, but I can't risk it and I'm just going to U-turn. I really can't risk it. <laughs> I can't. Um, I want to click it so bad, but you see, like, if if he is running HP, then it's gonna be unfortunate because I'm just lose Victini on the spot, and Victini puts some work. So I'm just I'm just gonna click U-turn and get up out of there. There's nothing to think about. Um, we're gonna U-turn. We're gonna see that we're faster. If he goes for U-turn, I'm assuming that he scarfed. Um, I assume, I guess, because then and we have to go Mandibuzz right here. He could have went for a knockoff actually, and the land timers. Okay, thank you. Um, and then we just go Mandibuzz. If he goes to rocks right here, that would also be unfortunate. If he goes for a knockoff, that would actually also be unfortunate as well. But I feel like he should go EQ, especially if he's Scarf. We might go for U-turn. So we'll see what he wants to do here. Mandibuzz is the best option, the best switching. Goes for a U-turn. So I'm assuming he is Scarf. That does do a decent bit of damage, though. But I'm assuming he's Scarf. I'm going to assume that he is Scarf. And then what can we do? I feel like he goes nine tails right here, maybe. If he goes nine tails, what can we do? We can go just straight up into a Raconid. And then we could sub up. Elsa does come out. I feel like he's gonna get Veil up. I also don't wanna take unnecessary damage on Mandy because we don't know what type of spread it is. So until we know, we can't like start taking risk yet because it could be a max HP set. It could also be a max special attack set. We're just gonna switch and we're just gonna go a Raconid. Cause that is the dedicated switching for this thing. Um, if he goes for a toxic, that would suck also. Cause the last couple set, the last two matches he's brought it, he had heal bell, toxic, aurora veil, and freeze dry. Uh, back to back, so he might have changed it or he might have kept it the same. I don't want to see a toxic, cause that's gonna be very unfortunate. He's gonna go for the veil. So there's the veil, and we do know it's probably likely. Um, we're buffeted by the hill, but that's okay. We're honestly free to just fire off a toxic if I'm being honest with you. Or we can get up webs. Might just want to get up webs. Uh, even though nothing's really fast. I don't see the yeah, I don't see the point of getting up webs. So we can just go for a toxic. Because he brought a his team is relatively slow. He doesn't gonna go for a freeze dry. We're gonna be able to see if this is um I think that's offensive. Because if we go uh nine tails. I'm gonna be able to get a toxic off. So this thing is on a timer, which is nice. So that way he has like limited switch-ins. Or not limited switch-ins, but uh yeah, yeah. He has special attack investment. 100 percent Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah, he does. Because I did some decent damage. Gonna get hurt by the poison. 
And then I think we can just go ahead. I mean, we could get up webs. I mean, we could. I don't see the point. Uh, I just want to liquidate. Because why not? I'm going to go for the freeze dry again. Doing some damage. Nice little chip. Actually, I should have went after that. Instead, I should have saved Arachnid a little bit. And then went out into Victini. What I should have done. That's what I should have done. But letting this thing go down is kind of eat. Because then, uh, actually, we could go out. Can we go out into Rolex? Nah, because Sandslash. No, we'll be faster than Sandslash. But, oh, uh, no, the veil's up. Veil's up, so it doesn't matter. Let me just go Victini right here. We can just go Vatini right here. And then we can U-turn out, depending on what comes in or what he does. He does go for Heal Bell. Very nice. So he does have the Heal Bell set. So I assume it's Freeze Dry, Heal Bell, Veil, and then probably Toxic, maybe. Hell's going to stop, which is nice. Um, I think this is in... Hold up. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Victini. Nine Tails. I don't think it has any HP. Uh, with Veil up. It's in range, so we might as well just go for the Searing Shot. Might as well just go for it. He's gonna withdraw. I'm gonna go Poseidon. I assume that's... Yeah, slow, bro. Oh, I could've just you turned out. What was wrong with me? If we get a burn on this thing, that would be nice, but at the same time, not really. Searing Shot. Gonna get some Chip. Did he get no burn. Do we use lefties? Should've you turned out right there. Um, What can we do? We can just go out into... Araquanid again. At least we're wasting turns of Veil. I really, if I had, if I didn't have the luxury of bringing a rocker, because my my rocker is a uh, uh, Palisand and that's weak to Ice, and I already had, as you can see, Ice weaknesses out the wazoo. I'm gonna swap out right here. We're gonna go into Speeder again. Should we do outspeed it? He's gonna teleport. Might go back out into Elsa. He might go back out into Elsa. I I don't know how many. I haven't been counting the turns, so I'll have to check the veil. Um, what could he what could he go on to? I feel like Elsa is his best bet. Could he even go Lando. Let's go Elsa. Um, so Veil is gonna be here to stay. Snow warning comes out. How many turns of veil does he have though? Buffeted by the hill, that's okay. Um Should be able to tank another one. If I'm being honest, white info. He has two turns of veil left. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna toxic the force of heal bell or do I just liquidate? I feel like I just liquidate. I I could just go for toxic. I feel like just going for toxic is fine. It will force him to heal bell. He's gonna freeze dry again. Uh, I feel like we do live it. Yeah, we do live it. Beautiful. We land the toxic. We do land the toxic. Very nice. So he either has to attack us or he has to go for heal bell now. So one of the two. And he has one turn of veil left. So we're in a kind of a decent spot. Because he's going to either have to heal bell or he's just going to go ahead and kill us. One of the two. So toxic chip. Very nice. And now we can just liquidate right here. There's no reason not to. He's gonna freeze dry, which is fine. So Arachnid is gonna go down, which is okay. But we do know it's offensive. And then Elsa's right here. He has no more Veil. Aurora Veil wears off, which is nice. And then I feel like we have to go Shortcake. I feel like that's, no, we don't have speed though. Never mind. Could go out into Rillaboom. Could go Rillaboom actually, and just get a Grassy Glide off. That's not too bad of a play. I, I, ju I just want to like force this thing out at the same time. We got some interesting spots. We got some interesting plays we could do. So we go Rillaboom and he has that kind of forces him to go out into. I feel like that forces him to go out hit, into hit on top and take chip on it. In my opinion, but if we go Victini, 
You get more chip on the slow, bro. But then he gets Veil up. Uh, so I think we just go Rillaboom. Let's go Rillaboom. It took me a little bit to think about. I'm gonna think about the potential plays he could make. This puts the most pressure on him. Considering he can't go into slow, bro. And he can't, he's gonna have to take chip on something. And so right now we can just go for a grassy glide. We are behind a little bit on the timer. He's gonna let this thing go down, which is kind of heat. So nine tails goes down. Where's nine tails? Nine tails. Nine tails goes down. We're at full. So what we could do is we, if he wants to go sand slash and do some shenanigans, we could just easily just. We might have to Gigantamax right here. He does go Snow Slash. Which is fine. Oh, uh, wait, hold up. What can we do? Y info, Sand Slash. He has one turn left. So what I could do is I can just go ahead and do this and we can max guard. Is that the right play though? So we could honestly just max Airstream. It doesn't matter that he's faster. We just max Airstream. Because he's going to be slower after this turn. And he'll trigger our weakness policy. Because we do live a triple axle no matter what. So I think this is our best time to G-Max. And we do, Mandy is very important, so we couldn't really afford to switch out. I didn't reckon it was to go down was unfortunate, but it's all good. What's going to happen right here? going to go for triple axle. That's one. Weakness policy is going to pop, which is nice. Wait, so does it pop automatically or is that just one? Oh, okay. He's got two. He's going to get all three. Woo! That did damage. That did damage. He is life orb. Okay, good to know. Let me just max airstream right here. He's going to do some damage. And I think we should be good to go. Because Hale's going to uh, give out right here. Yeah, Hell's gonna give out. That took a minute to go back up. Holy, oh my God. Excuse me. So now what we can do, wait, Hell did go away, right? Yeah, it did, okay, bet. I was about to freak out for a second. Now we can just go for a max quake. Get our spadef up a little bit. All right, so this thing's gonna drop. Oh my ringer, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am sorry. So Sand Slash is gonna go down, which is nice. So Sand Slash, where you at? Sand Slash drops. I apologize for the ringer. I forget to turn it off every time. Oh, I'm sorry if that was loud. That might have busted some of y'all's eardrums. So we're gonna get some decent little recovery back up. Um, we are plus one, plus two, plus two, but the special attack doesn't really matter. So we're looking kind of hot right now. He could go into, uh, is, I think that's the Snorlax. It is a Snorlax. He could easily just max guard right here if he does have it. And I think what I want to do is I just want to drum solo. No reason not to. We'll see if he has the max guard or not. I know like some people like to run a move that gives you max guard, but we'll see what's popping right here. I could have max guarded myself just to scout, but I want to, if I want, I want to do some damage to this thing. Cause if he max guards and we max guard, then, then it's kind of like a, what's the point? So we're just going to go for it. My hair's kind of willy, like it's not listening to me because it's I watched it today, but like oh he okay, so he has no G Max, whatchamacallit. Uh Max Guard, and that just bops it. Oh my god. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Alright, so Snorlax is gone. Yo, I did not expect that to just get bopped like that. I did not expect to just get bopped like that. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. <laughs> That's kind of wild. <laughs> right or not. Okay, I don't know what kind of spread that was. Uh I don't know. I guess he was. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna intimidate us, uh, which is okay. Ooh, what can we do? If we still have terrain up, if we still have terrain up, we're fine. Does terrain fade? Terrain doesn't fade. How many turns of terrain do we have? We have one left, and I kind of just want to go for a grassy glide. Kind of just want to go for a grassy glide, because we can break through slow bro easily with the mods we have left. So we're just gonna go for a grassy glide. Why not? Might as well. Might as well we got that priority. We might as well use it. We are a priority, bro. We are a priority. That does some nice damage. We're gonna go for a knockoff. That's fine. 
It does kill, so Rillaboom's gonna go down. Rillaboom's gonna go down, and I do wanna show him some of the tech, though. I do wanna show him some of the tech, but he might swap out. He might swap out. He might swap out. I, <laughs> I wanna show him some of the tech, though. I guess in hindsight, I could have just swapped out and went uh, Mandibuzz for differential purposes. I'm gonna go Glaciate. I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Could have just. Ah, I should have just went Lele. Should have just went Lele. I'm getting a little bit lost in the sauce. No cap. I was a little. I was a little. So he's gonna withdraw. Which is fine. He goes the top. That's hit on top. Okay. We see no intimidate, so we know that this thing is probably technician. We're gonna lower its speed at least though. Which is nice. Um what do we do? I mean we have a teeny for landers, so it's okay. Uh we can honestly just go out into NASCAR. I think we just go NASCAR. Yeah, we just go NASCAR. That's, we should be fine. I definitely should have went Lele though, because it pressures him the most. I got a little bit too excited to go for Victini. Not gonna lie. No lie. No lie, no lie. And a little bit too excited, so I need to calm it down a little bit. I should have swapped out a Rillaboom as well. But I did, you know, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's bulldoze. Okay, that's interesting. And now we're just gonna fire off a knockoff. So I didn't even need boots. I could have been Rocky Helmet. I could have been Rocky Helmet, bro. Knockoff, we're gonna see what item this thing is. Assault vest, maybe? Yeah, it is a soft lens. Okay. Triple Axel is going to pop off. Yo, imagine if I was Rocky Helmet right now, bro. If I was Rocky Helmet right now. Technician is going to pop up to do some damage. It's going to be okay, though. Because we can roost right here. Uh, see, now I kind of wish I had Toxic over uh, U turn. But we can roost right here. And then we can U turn out easily. Because we do have speed thanks to Glaciate. Because he, ah, well, he wasn't running any speed on it. Then it didn't matter. Let's go for Triple Axel. Two, we eat this way better. And now we can go ahead and just U-turn. Cause he might predict us to roost again. And then he might go for a fighting type move and try to get, get smart so we can go into Lele. Cause this thing is not surviving a choice specs Lele. I promise you. I promise you. So you just go Lele. Cause why not? You just go Lele. But dang, I really should have went Lele first. But oh wait, I know the lander is scarfed. But it was scarfed into knockoff anyway, so it's okay. We're gonna get psychic surge up. So expanding force, uh, Victini might might pop off a little bit, just a teeny bit. But Slowbo is there. Battlefield got weird. Go for triple axel again. That's cool. Two, the damage. Three, all three. That sucks. No priority though, and we know we outspeed it, so we can just fire off a moon blast. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy ain't nothing to think about. Yo, hit my top and then, yo, the two hit my tops. I don't know if y'all saw it. Rewind a little bit, but the hit my top sprite and the hit my top in the actual game were on the same beat. On the same, not anymore, but they were. I promise you. I promise you. I'm not crazy. I was just too busy sipping water because you guys know how much I love the water, bro. But yeah, I definitely misplayed and got a little too excited because I definitely wanted to get the kill with Victini on the Lando. So I should have went Lele because it applied the most pressure and I knew it was Scarf, so it was Scarfed in the knockoff and it wasn't going to kill. So he had no switches, so Lando probably would have gone down right there. He's going to go into this thing. It's not going to tank two unless it is Spadef. Excuse me. We're going to see, are you Spadef? Definitely not Spadef. We know we have speed. He's going to have the leftovers, but it's not going to do anything. So we can just go ahead and pop off right here and go for a Moonblast. Easy, 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 easy. I am surprised he did bring the Sand Slash uh, Ninetales this time. That's a little surprise. Uh, Slowbro, I don't know why he didn't bring Kirim. I guess Lele scared him maybe, but I don't know. Only reason why I brought webs is for, specifically for like a Scarf Kirim, so that way uh, Victini, or no, not really, just to slow down Kirim, I guess, especially a non-Scarf Kirim. I assume this thing is Scarf, so I'm just gonna go out into Mandibuzz because I have no reason not to. I have no reason not to, so we're just gonna swap out. We're just gonna go Mandy. Just gonna go Mandy. Easy peasy, easy peasy, nothing to think about. Now it's looking kinda, kinda dire. 
Because, like, he has to go. I feel like he has to go for U-turn. That's the best play. If he fires off EQ, eh? I think you go for U-turn. He does go for U-turn. That's doing damage. That's doing damage. Uh, but we might naturally outspeed uh, this thing, though. I was fighting back, but yeah, I should have went Lele. Excuse me, at that point. So now I just, I think I just roost. I think we just roost. I'm gonna roost. I'm gonna see what he wants to do. If he goes for triple axle again, that's gonna be interesting, to say the least. What is he gonna do? He's gonna go triple axle again. Okay. Two, three. We do outspeed this thing though. That's what, that much we know. Weirdness disappears from the battlefield. That's okay. Um, hold up. Uh, hit him on top. Somebody has this. Uh, I don't know. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. If it's max HP, it's not in range. So I think I want to roost again. I feel like I want to roost again. Do I roost again? I just roost again. Why not? Gonna go for a mock punch, but it does go first, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna roost right here, which is fine. If I had toxic, it'd be perfect. Uh, so we can just keep going for a knockoff. I thought he would have had close combat. Oh, okay, that works. That works too. I'm go for a knockoff right here. Um. We're gonna take, it's probably Choice Scarf, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Will it pick up the kill? It will not. Choice Scarf, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Now we can just go for a knockoff again. Uh, will Lando drop right here or will he U-turn? He's gonna Stone Edge. He does land. Uh, does do some damage, but we can eat those for days. And then we just go for a knockoff and Lando dies, which is cool. So Mandibus picking off some kill, getting some kills, getting a little bit of kills. I could have been a differential person and I should actually start being a more differential person because you know, we're up in the competition. So records don't mean anything. D differential means everything right now. So I could have just went ahead and uh, went out into, instead of sacking off for a little bit, I could just went Mandy. Uh, so, you know, could have been a 5-0 instead of a 4-0. Cause right here I can just roost up and he can just go for triple axel. He's gonna go for triple axle, and I think Victini. Victini. It's not assault vest though. We know that much. Not anymore, at least. Uh, does 33 to 40. I wish I had toxic though. I really do. Uh, we can just. I think we just go for. We go for one more. Just go for one more. Just go for one more. Just why not? Just one more. Um. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know. If he's max HP, it does 33 to 40. It is not in range yet. Uh, but this thing, yo, why is this so bulky? Hemantop's so bulky. I know this, though. I, I had one. Hemantop's just a tank. And now we can just go U-turn. And we can just go for knockoff and keep going for knockoff repeatedly. And then we come in and let Victini pick up the KO. That's what we can do. Excuse me. That's going to take forever, though. This is super effective, this go-round. Hit one time, okay, no. <laughs> uh, we could just U-turn. We can just U-turn about. I'm doing nothing. If I had Toxic, it would be lovely. Um, What could we do? No triple axles incoming. We, we can just go for Expanding Force twice. Can't kill us. So the team is going to be here. Triple Axel comes out, we resist it, critical hit, one hit, two hits, three hits, two hits, okay. So now we can just go for Expanding Force, All right? Yeah, we can just go for Expanding Force, because why not? It won't pick up the KO though, it will not. I don't think it will, it don't, almost, bulldoze, does damage, but we're gonna outspeed either way because we are scarfed ourselves. So I'm not worried about it. Speed fell, not harshly fell, so we're fine. We can still kill. 
Expanding force right here and him on top should drop and that should be the game Do out, out speed so him on top bow so good game to Talon for sure This was an interesting match for hellish that Rillaboom Popped off way more than I thought it was going to I did not think it was gonna Oko lax from full at plus two Which is kind of wild, but uh, definitely I should have switched out. <laughs> I should have switched out uh, But we have a nice clean 4-0 so it's, it's still okay, but you know the plus five would have been nice But uh, you know it is what it is uh, that hip hop top was actually a little annoying though. I wish I did have toxic over U turn, but U turn was not. I felt like I needed U turn to position myself throughout the match uh, for Hank just because he had a lot of offensive pressure between his two ice types and our team is kind of ice weak. So, um, but yeah, we snagged it up. We are now two and one in the UPA. We are coming back strong. You already know it. Make sure to leave a like down below. Also, comment what you guys thought, what misplays I made, or what good plays I made. You know, I want to know, I want to learn, I want to grow. Um, but without further ado, I am your boy Jay. I'm gonna get about your hair and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.